Ken's family have been farming in the Mamaku for over 60 years. Tony and Margot took over the farm in 1999, five years after it had been converted from sheep and beef to dairy. Today, they milk 500 cows at 2.5 cows per hectare. Over the years, Tony and Margot have introduced many good nutrient practices. This work was recognised at the 2015 Regional Balance Farm Environment Awards. Today, we take a look at the effluent management system. When we took over the farm in 1999, the effluent system was very, very basic. It was a small pond close to the shed with an effluent dispensing area of 10 hectares. We started our upgrade in 2005 by adding a 20,000 litre effluent sump and three hydrants, increasing the area to 30 hectares. We needed greater pond storage capacity and to shift the pond away from the dairy shed. We have a very high rainfall at about 2.1 to 2.4 metres each year. This means there are long periods when the soil is too wet to spread effluent. In May 2010 we decided on a 90 day storage pond with a rubber lining system. The liner reduces seepage risk and it comes with a 20 year guarantee. We also bought a new travelling irrigator and eight irrigation pods which can access nine effluent hydrants. Today we can irrigate up to 80 hectares. Our soil is free draining, it's a pods or soil formed on pumice and this means the effluent can easily move into the soil to where it's needed, the pasture root zone. Last winter there were very few days in which we could dispense effluent because it was so wet. The large pond puts us in control and makes it much easier to comply with our resource consent. Council real-time soil moisture data tells us when there is enough soil absorption capacity to safely spray effluent. We collect a lot of data about our soil and take effluent samples from the fines trap, sump and pond. Knowing this helps us adjust effluent timing and application rates. We know the amount of nitrogen going on to each paddock in any given year. But any system is only as good as its operator. We're lucky to have John on board. He knows the system back to front. We've set up our system so it's easy to operate. After each milking, the effluent is flushed into a fines pit and then into the sump. Once that sump's full, effluent flows directly into the pond. If soil and weather conditions are right, we pump directly from the sump because fresh effluent has more nutrient value than pond stored effluent. It's my job to make sure the system works smoothly and safely. This means keeping up with maintenance, sorting out which blocks to spread on and positioning of the pods in areas where the travelling irrigator can't reach. During pumping, I check the spreaders and make sure there is no ponding. Once we've finished, I record the effluent application depth for each paddock. Where we're standing now are the headwaters of the Oaho stream, which eventually flows into Lake Rotorua. We keep all spreaders away from these waterways. The effluent upgrade cost us approximately $225,000. Nowadays, advice on effluent systems is much easier to find. There are more design options on the market, but we are still pretty happy with our system. We're using effluent to grow grass, improve soil condition, and reduce our nitrogen leaching at the same time. The overseer nutrient model indicates that increasing the effluent area reduced nitrogen leaching by almost 4%. The Cairns effluent upgrade cost about $1,000 per hectare. Running costs are similar to their old system. There are additional benefits from greater flexibility and peace of mind from lower risk of system failure and resource consent non-compliance. You can find out more about this good management practice below.